Alright, boys and girls, my name is Mehul and uh, welcome back to another video. It's almost, I guess, 1.30 in the night, I think. And here we are, sitting and doing some awesome animations with React Native. How cool is that? Anyway, coming back to the topic, what we have for this video is something known as Pan Responder. As you can see on your screens, we have huge, not really huge, but you know, good amount of documentation available for it. Well, not really good amount as well. So anyway, so we have some examples that will do just fine. So what Pan Responder does is actually it allows you to detect how the user is moving their finger on the screen, which would eventually allow you to determine the behavior, the gesture, right? Which is what it calls it, the gesture state. So first things first, let's just take a look at the example. You see with functional components, these guys would be probably creating refs. Yep. So they are creating a ref. And again, for pan responder, let me just actually, let me just go ahead and copy this first because it will be easier to explain in VS code. So let's just go ahead and import this bad boy. And again, instead of ref, we're going to make use of state because I don't know, it just looks much more cleaner to me with a state. And we also need a pan. So we're going to get to that as well. All right, guys. So again, you state. There we are. So what the hell is going on here? Well, you see that what a pan responder does is that it allows you to create a responder. A responder means, hey, are you there? Yes, I'm here. So this yes, I am here part is called the responder. On every single touch, what the um, App, the operating system would do is it would broadcast a message to the application which is currently running saying that hey you might want to handle this touch maybe if you want just let me know if not just you know just ignore this message so similarly you your application could tell react that yes i want to handle this touch because react is communicating on the operating system um, on your behalf so react says that hey screen or hey component do you want to manage um, this touch which is about to begin and you have to say yes or no right because you know the touch data is expensive and react cannot just go ahead and bombard every particular component with all the touch data if you do not really need that so this is what this method does so it says that on move should set pan responder right and not really this method on start should set pan respond does that so what happens here is that you're saying that hey i just go got ahead and you know whatever it is and pressed my finger on the screen should you react says the user has just pressed the same finger on the screen do you want to handle this and you say true by that what it means is that you're going to receive updates from now on about how the user is moving their finger on the screen for that particular gesture right so it means you're going to receive updates as long as the finger is not lifted up as long as it uh, the moment it is lifted up this value is discarded and um, you can maybe probably pass in another value the next time maybe false um, which is not going to then um, give you further updates on move should set fan responder pretty much does the same thing but it will ask you on on when the user starts moving their finger right so we can just keep it this no problem and then we have an on pan responder grant function now this function would fire if this function returns us true right so at this particular point user has not really started moving their finger but uh, you as an application have said that yes i'm going to manage this gesture myself right so this is kind of an init point for you so this is basically just saying here you go the gesture is about to start do whatever you want to do for um, um for this particular gesture if you want to pre-initialize any values or do some stuff or whatever just do it right here right then this is there's this function which is like one of the most important functions and on pan responder move is going to basically go ahead and uh, you know just fire whatever function you are passing in here 
every single time it detects a move on the screen. So as fast as it can, right? So obviously there are limits, throttle limits to this as well, but it fires as fast as it can with all the relevant parameters, the distance moved on the screen, you know, where the user is headed, how much fingers, all that good stuff. And then finally, when you release the finger from the screen, if you want to do any cleanup or, you know, flatten offsets or whatever, you're going to get into that, what it is. So you can do that, all that stuff here. So yeah, that's how it's going to work. That's how it's going to roll out. So that's all for this video for the pan responder in it, but we're going to see how to work with it in the next one. So make sure you like this video, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.